When portrait photography started in West Africa, in Senegal, in Mali, and all the surrounding countries, it was commercial. These first photographers had no idea they were actually documenting their society. They were doing something that, I mean, it was magic. And um, they would have um, all the elegant people coming at least once a year to have their portrait shot. And so it's only decades after that um, they realized that they had a historical database and that's when it started traveling around the world and it, it then that's when um, their talent as artists was um, recognized. It took probably another decade or maybe 20 years for people like Sally and her collective to realize that actually you can't depend on the government so you better go get creative in the way you get funded. This trend that I'm trying to document, this, these people that I'm trying to um, gather in this series of portraits, I feel it's like a duty to tell my context and if I can do it in a creative way that um, revives a tradition then yeah that's what I'm after. A portrait is supposed to be real because you're showing someone but still it's an interpretation. It's that person at that very precise moment and it's the way you see it. Especially with me, my portraits are very staged. Um, it can take two weeks of prep uh, preparation from the, the, choosing the fabrics, the hairstyle, because I'm also the stylist and sometimes I'm the, the, the designer. So um, it's still reality, but in a way it's an interpretation, it's staged. Um, so I like this flexibility, I like playing between these two uh, elements. This is something that I really enjoy as a photographer. For the time being, I enjoy styling my own shoots, but I also enjoy collaborations. Every time I've worked with Sally Habikan, we would spend nights sending each other's emails, like, oh, have you seen this? Oh, did you see that Tim Burton movie? You see that moment? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. And I love that type of collaborations, but I need to get involved. I, I can't just work on a brief. I became a photographer because I, 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 I could have this freedom to um, pave my own way and do things the way I, I wanted to do them. Um, so I think being self-taught helps me um, being authentic in the sense that I strictly do what I want to do. And uh, I think an artist should be independent uh, because this allows you to be free in the way you express yourself.